Hello, I'd like to invite you to a free session this weekend, this Saturday, where we'll dive deep into one of the greatest method books for the guitar, Carcassi's Method for the Guitar. In it, you'll find a thorough training ground uh, that covers a whole range of different topics, things like harmony, technique, arpeggios, fretboard positions, uh, ornaments, and more. And you know, you can get quite a bit out of this if you do this on your own, if you go through a method book on your own. But um, you know, I've, I've studied method books like this for many years now. And when you kind of dig down into the various exercises and the pieces and things like that, that are in the method book, you actually find that there's a lot of valuable treasure lying under the surface of a lot of these seemingly simple um, studies and pieces and exercises. So you cover a range of things like um, arpeggios, <clears throat> um, chords, diagrams, exercises, you go into keys, major and minor keys, and you, you go through um, scales, chords and pieces. Then you look at positions, you look at ornaments, you look at um, intervals. And then the last parts here contain some uh, concert exercises and songs. So it's really like a, a whole program just in one book that will train you very, very thoroughly to be a very well-rounded guitarist that has mastered the fundamentals of both guitar and music. So here's an example of uh, G major, which has a scale and a cadence, chord progression, exercise, a prelude, and a selection of beautiful short pieces. So I'll play uh, one of the pieces for you here. This is one of my favorites, Andantino. see these pieces are really fun and when we dive in detail we'll look at things like the form how many sections there are we'll look at things like harmony it's mostly made of the primary chords for example of G major we'll look at intervals it's made up of tenths this particular piece if you know like lagrima is also made of tenths if you know blackbird by the Beatles similar um, we have uh, different arpeggios and textures being used so we explore all of that we can look at the interpretation as well how to bring out the music using dynamics using timing articulation and looking into the music peering into the structure of the music to inform our interpretation then we can take those ideas we learn and apply them to other pieces we're playing. Another thing we'll be looking at are ornaments. So there's a section here devoted to ornamentation, things like uh, slurs, slides, trills, mordants, and you get quite a thorough training in these things too. So you have like these little exercises here, um, like, um, and then you get these pieces that use, they utilize uh, quite, you know, strongly the technique. So All right, so that's a beautiful piece, a little study that uses slurs. We have, as you can see, the same sort of formula. We get uh, idea of what the ornament is, 
how to execute it, and then some short studies that utilize it. Another thing we'll be looking at are fretboard positions. One of the things that's that's said here is that the um, principal positions, the fourth, fifth, seventh, and ninth, first, fourth, fifth, seventh, and ninth, those are called the principal positions. Position is the the place the place where your first finger rests, the fret where your first finger lies. It's very very foundational to guitar playing to understand positions. So those are the principal ones and the study of those will be sufficient to uh, get acquainted with the rest. So by studying the primary positions or the principal positions, you'll actually have a uh, much greater understanding of the entire fretboard of the guitar. And this is done in this method book through these exercises here. So you play a scale in the in the chosen position. So this is in the fourth position. And then we get an, an exercise that's also all in the fourth position. And then you get a piece, a beautiful piece, which is entirely in the fourth position. same for the fifth position and then the seventh and the ninth and then we see a couple of techniques for changing positions and then a piece that actually is changing between different positions and telling you when to change position and where absolutely fantastic to learn the fretboard the final main topic we'll look at are intervals third sixth octaves and tenths which are basically like the main intervals that classical music is made of. And so you start with a scale in thirds, which sounds like this. And then you get a study that's utilizing those intervals. Absolutely great stuff there. These intervals, as I said, they're like some of the main building blocks in classical guitar music. So the more familiar you are with them, the faster you'll learn pieces, the faster you'll sight read. They're great tools for composing and improvising with and arranging with as well. So that's quite thoroughly presented as well. Thirds, sixths, octaves, tenths, and some studies that sort of are a bit of a mixture and there's further practice so there's a lot there in this beautiful method book it's a fantastic method book so there's a lot in this fantastic method book and i hope you'll join me for a free session this weekend and i plan to run a six month course where we'll look at this method book in detail every week over six months and just imagine well, with this kind of guidance and training over six months, just imagine the type of guitarist you'll be. You know, you'll be very proficient in harmony and different techniques on the guitar and the fretboard of the instrument. Uh, I think you'll be playing at an absolutely great standard and um, have a fantastic understanding of music. So I hope you can join me this Saturday. It's at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And I uh, look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.